All right, guys, they just took Bosley inside. And I'm so, so worried about his eye because lately it's been bothering him so much. He's been scratching it. It's like his eye, it's, I don't know what to say, but it's, he, he can't see anything. Like it's. That's what we're here for, to hear the last um, result from the doctor. If he say that he can't see, last time we brought him in it was 20%. He could see in his eye. We did everything. We put the eye drop. We did everything. And at one point, I asked the doctor, I go, we feel guilty. Is it our fault? He said, it's genetic. It's genetic, and eventually yeah. he's going to lose sight. So today, we're waiting for the result. I mean, I don't know. We we keep putting medicine on it, but it's just keep produce some something, and it's like build up, build up, and it's like kind of like... It hurts him more than... Yes, it's just, I feel like he's in pain. I, I can see like when he go and scratch his his eye in the couch, whatever. It's just I feel so bad for him. I uh, last time we were here, they we asked them if there's any surgery, if we can like do something. I won't do anything. 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 Just uh, they said uh, even if they do the surgery, it still won't. I think right. He said surgery is not for him. The only thing they can do, which I, I can't even say it, to remove his eye. And that's what we're here for. If if we come to that decision, it's the hardest thing, believe me, guys. Like, it's uh, it's like I'm talking about my kid. It's like our yeah. own kid. We keep thinking about him and like, but if it's for the best for him, we have to do it. Because we're not helping like this. We keep his eye like this. It's not helping him. And we talked before we thought about removing his eye with the doctor. He said, they adjust to this. They adapt to having one eye just like they have two eyes. Yeah, I mean... I, I don't know. It's, it's the hardest, the hardest, the hardest thing. And we have to talk about it with the kids and yeah. go home and think about it. We're not going to just say, okay. And we have to make sure that he can handle the anesthesia too. It's not only... I mean, so I, like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like even if they, if they, if I ask them, like, did, will my eye work on his? Aww. I will give my eye. Aww. Seriously, I will give my eye Aww. for... Um, for him i mean yeah. i can i can still manage to work with one eye mm -hmm. but i don't want him to, i don't want to see because him he just pain. it hurt us so much when we see him going through pain and any pet owner will understand where we coming from when you have a pet become one of the family member and this bosley he's one of a kind he's the king he's i don't know he just go, went in our hearts so deep I like know. Ron may be the most I mean all of us but Ron he's so attached to him so he cannot sleep if Bosley is not next to his head he comes home first thing he asks for Bosley first thing he sees is Bosley I can't even go uh, out like a lot because when I change try to go out I see him like he panic like he run by the door he yeah. like so when I when I walk out the door and I close the door and he's behind this side and I'm from the other side, I just, he's even if I'm out, I feel him. like I think about him all the time. Uh -huh. But uh, well, Same here. I swear lately, because of the problem on his eye, we can't enjoy doing anything. We always say, oh, I wish he didn't have this problem. But well, anyway, we've been, we've been sitting in the car. We can't go inside because of the, the COVID. Because of what's so. going on. So we have to sit in the car. They came and took him, and now we're waiting for the doctor to call and tell us what's going on. Hey, this is Dr. Struby calling about Bosley. Hi, Doc. How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? Good, good. Just worried about Bosley. I know. Poor baby. Yeah, mm. that left eye has, is about as bad as I've ever seen it. Mm. Um, the right eye is holding steady. I mean, it could be better, but it's not bad. So it's not at bad. least we've got one visual eye, but the left eye has little or no vision at this point mm. that is potentially reversible but clearly medicine alone isn't going to cut it so um that if we haven't already i think we already discussed it and i think you already decided that it wasn't an option but just in case this is the point where i would say if you're going to do surgery that parotid duct transposition where we move the salivary duct to the eye 
it's now or never. Um, but if you're not interested, then don't worry about it. Um, another option, of course, is if the eye is blind and painful, it can always be removed. Yeah. If you don't want to go through the expense and the post-operative care with the uh, surgery. Uh, however, if you feel like maybe you still haven't been able to give the meds a good go, um, we can always, you know, go back on the meds and see, just adjust them a little bit for safety and see if, if you can keep some kind of consistent therapy going that'll at least keep them comfortable. Um, what I would do with the meds, no matter what you decide, is let's not use steroids anymore. It's just too risky at this point. He has no tears. Mm -hmm. He's got mucus building up on his left cornea and drying and and that he can't even blink hardly and his lower eyelid tends to want to roll in because of it oh. it sticks on that so uh, he's at high risk for ulcers at this point it is just not safe to have him on a steroid drop anymore no i think we're done with uh, other thing that's why we brought him in i think surgery will be an option but what's okay. the percentage of that working that's the only thing we worry about yeah so so if you're interested in surgery, what you need to know is, first of all, just to remind you, the surgery is where we actually move the longest salivary duct up to the eye so he drools into the eye. Mm -hmm. There is a chance that his salivary duct will scar shut after we move it because it may not like being messed with, and then it won't work. But remember, the surgery does not eliminate the need for meds. He will still need medication. Uh, same. Just when the medicines alone aren't working. Aren't working. So you would need to know the risk of anesthesia. That's what I was going to ask. As long as he's healthy, mm -hmm. it's tiny. As long as he's healthy, it's a fraction of a percent. But it's a fraction of a percent chance he can die. Because oh. on any given day, you may not be able to tolerate a certain anesthetic, even if you've had it before and you did perfectly fine the last time. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we run blood work and we listen to their heart to make sure there's no obvious problems. And then under, when they're under, we monitor them head to tail, and we constantly change the anesthesia to keep them as stable as we can. So we keep that risk to a minimum. Oh. If this were my dog, there's only two reasons I wouldn't do the surgery at this point. One is if I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. The other is if he was too unhealthy to put under anesthesia. Otherwise, I would do it in a second. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to replace it with this drug called Pitorilac. So it's going to be oh. to the right eye twice a day still, but to the left eye we're increasing to three times a day. Okay, the one he's seeing. The, Everything oh. in the left eye is going to increase to okay. three times a day. Okay. Um, the tacrolimus that you already have, so you'll continue with like that in the right eye twice a day, okay. and then to the left three times a day. We're going to add this new, uh, it's called cyclosporine, it's another tear stimulant oh. to help with the production. Okay. And that's going to be only to the left eye three times a day. Okay. Does it say everything? It's all written right here. Okay. It's all on the bottle. Okay. All right, guys. We just came back from the doctor, eye doctor for Bosley. And this you is guys it. heard it yourself, what the doctor said. All right. So this is the situation. There is a, you know how his eye is getting so bad. So okay, Bosley. I think he said it's, he can't see an eye anymore. It's he said it's the worst that he can see it today, and he gave us two options. Okay, what are they? All right, the first one is surgery, but it's risky. What's the surgery? The surgery is to, instead of us putting the eye drop, they put a chip in his head, and that's going to release tears to his eye. But still, what? with that, we have to put eye medicine. Yeah, they put so, it, with that, we still have to put oh, eye drops, yeah. and, and he's still blind, he still can't see. Well, that might help a little, but the risk that he gave us, that's why I'm scared. He said the anesthesia, he might not be healthy enough to have the anesthesia. And some people, he said it's 80%. Yeah, mm -hmm. 80% what? It will work. But I mean, it, it's won't, it won't cure his eye? No, not the whole thing. No, he's not going to see just like he So what's the before. risk? The anesthesia. The anesthesia, the risk he might die from it. Like if he... Well, I say we don't do that option. If there's any risk that he's going to pass away during the surgery, I don't think we should do that at all. No. Well, the only one left is the one we never want to talk about and we, we never accept it. It's removing his eye. So, I, I mean, I personally think that we... Like, removing his eye is better because when he has his eye... Like, his eye right now is so itchy and scratchy that he always scratches it and it bothers him but if they take it out like 
it's not going to be a difference for him except for the fact that he'll be more comfortable. That's Don't you but, think? But if we do the surgery of removing his eye, yeah, how are that, they going to put him under? Yeah, anesthesia? is that also That's, a risk that he's not going to make it? There is a risk in both surgeries, but removing the eye, he recommended more because he said now it's hurting him more than yeah. helping him. Well, There's some things in his eye. Okay, so first of all, I don't think it's good news that no matter which option we do, there's a chance that he doesn't make it. Number two, if we had to pick one, okay, if the first surgery where they put the chip in his head and it releases tears, if that were to cure him and make him see, I'd say we do that. But yeah. I heard the doctor was saying that it's, it, it won't for sure cure him and even if it does help he's still gonna be partially blind in that eye and not to mention like Brian said his eye itches him and mm -hmm. it's super red and he's always like picking at it it bothers him so if if it's gonna stay in and it bothers him and there's a chance that he'll still be blind I don't know if we should I know. do that removing his eye it's sad, but it, I, I honestly think it might be the best option, but only if he could obviously make it through the surgery. Yeah. So That's the hard part. When because are we, we don't know out? what to do. The, the option he's given us is nothing like, okay, like one, this, two, this, three, this, and then we'll say, oh, okay, three, it's good. But it's it's nothing because it has to go through surgery and then the surgery, the risk of the anesthesia. On surgery is scary for... Every surgery, there's risk. They have to say it. Yeah. And we don't, they're going to take a blood from him. Okay. blood test and then they they're gonna tell, tell you yeah. if he's able to do it or not so i mean yeah if, if his eye was if if it's just that oh he's blind but it doesn't bother him then of course the thing would be oh just leave it in yeah. he can't see but it's not bothering him but the bad news is his eye being in, it actually bothers him. And so, it hurts him. Yeah, he it tries hurts to him. scratch it all the time and I can't imagine how uncomfortable because he can't just use his paw to scratch. That's what I'm saying. So the fact that the first option is, oh, it'll produce tears, but you don't know for sure if it's going to make it better. Like, I don't want to say to remove his eye because obviously you don't want to do that, but yeah. that might be the best. I personally think if he can make it through the surgery, we should take out his eye. I think he'll be cute without an eye. Cute, and they say they adapt to one eye just like he have two eyes. The odds they well, do that. Well, again, if you just it's already just can't see. I know, it's just sad it's to very think about sad. the King Bosley. With, oh, I mean, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of pugs. Now I'm like searching pugs with one eye. They look so cute and yeah. they do run around and do everything. We have to take care of the other eye. For That's sure. the, the thing now. We have to take care of the good eye. So should we go with the taking out his eye? Or? If he could withstand the surgery, I think so, yeah. Yeah, but first do all the tests yeah, to make see. sure he could... Uh, go to sleep during the surgery mm -hmm. and, and wake up yeah because he's oh, not yeah. the healthiest dog we all know that yeah we will we will do everything until we make sure that he's okay to do that and we'll do it because even with the procedure that he said they're gonna do at the end we're gonna have to remove the eye because that's not gonna work forever yeah. that's what i'm saying if the first option was like oh we're gonna do the surgery and, <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna be fine. of course that's different but they're saying, oh, we could do the surgery and it might give him a little bit of eyesight, yeah, but no. later on you're going to have to remove mm -hmm. the eye anyways and it might not get better. Yeah, I, I if you're going to go through one surgery, it might as well be taking out his eye. As sad as it is, I just, I think that's what we should do. Let us know, guys. What do you guys oh, think? Oh yeah, comment down below where you think if you have a, a dog with the same situation where you have done for him. I think I've read a lot of like tweets that people tweet at me that, um, like pugs with one eye or like taking out their eyes better oh yeah like i've read like i've Even seen the comments doctor like recommended that. Yeah. that but he said it's up to the owners how they take it well and you guys all know how much bosley, bosley means, means the world to us. us especially to those good <laughs> those two guys <laughs> i still remember the day they asked for him we dressed up in a suit and <laughs> uh, <laughs> well i mean we're gonna do the best for him and we're gonna ask the doctor again see what's the best and we're gonna do like blood tests and so see if he can make it through the anesthesia we could put an eye patch on him too like to make him look cute <laughs> <laughs> all right Bosley. yeah so either way we're gonna let you guys know we have to do one of those either the procedure or removing his eye and it's gonna be soon we have to do it soon all right so I hope you guys enjoyed today's sad video. <laughs> really, it's sad about Bosley. We all know how much you love him. Prayers for him. Wish Please. him, yeah, the best. And we'll let you guys know. 
Thank, Thank you, guys you guys for watching. We love you. Love you guys and peace. Peace.